Hi, fans of high quality entertainment and bad album covers. I have 50 more, and there's two or three where I show either the gatefold or the back cover. But there, I think there are 50 in total. And some of you suggested some album covers, so you might see them in this video. So I thank you for these suggestions. Here we go. Juicy Lucy. I've heard of the band and I listened to a bit of their music on Spotify and it was, you know, not bad. But the album cover itself, it's, and I believe this is their debut album, it's, it's something else. And I believe I have the back cover too. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy Lucy. Now, this was suggested, and I never really thought of it before, but uh, somebody was saying that they would be embarrassed bringing this up to the record counter back in the, I guess, the 80s. I love Prince, one of the most talented musicians ever, so nothing against him, but I do see how it could be labeled a bad album cover by some. <laughs> Of course, I found a few that are not that well known because they're always fun to have a good laugh. Die amigos. When niche um answer lip or something like that. <laughs> He's coming. There, there's uh, the London trio, although it looks like there's more than three. Uh, Somebody wrote on the on the uh, cover, good. So it must be a good help. Olaf, I don't know, Veen or Sveen dance party. Looks like they're they're having a wild dance party, especially the guy on the accordion. It looks like he's falling asleep. Butthole Surfers. Now you know with a name like Butthole Surfers, you're going to have some pretty, pretty nice album covers. And this is one of them. Electric Larry Light. <laughs> yeah, Chicken Shack, who I've heard of, but I'd never seen this album cover before, but somebody did, did su suggest, su suggest it. It's hard for me to say. Uh, 40 blue fingers, freshly packed and ready to serve. You have to wonder who, who, who came up with the idea. 40 blue fingers. I can see the cover now. Ooh. Yep, Big Bear doing things. A little over the top, but different. Goodies, Out Behind the Barn by Justy and the Keybenders. I wouldn't go out behind the barn if I was you. Whatever happened to Justy and the Keybenders? I don't even know where I found this one. Hurricanes Crazy Day. And, and some of them aren't necessarily bad. They're just, they, they, they just make you wonder. <laughs> like who comes up with the, idea, the, the ideas for the album covers? Gibby Haynes and his problem. He definitely does have a problem. I, I'd have that looked at. And this is a real, like, I think all of these are real. Mr. Audeline, and it was an EP, and this was from, I think, 1962. And the music is online. It's just like keyboard kind of weirdness. But 
Nothing's as weird as that album cover. Don't meet him behind the bar, and that's all I know. <laughs> and then just the plain drab album covers and titles. My friends call me Chuck. Sadly, though, nobody calls him Chuck because he doesn't have any friends. Yeah, the Kinks, one of the great 60s, 70s bands. But they've released some bad album covers, and this is one of them. The Kinks, word of mouth. Yeah. After, you know, Ray Davies, the great Ray Davies, he sees this album cover and he says, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> uh, this was recommended to me by someone. Thank you. <laughs> Birth Control, Voodoo Man. And I believe I have the back cover too or the oh the inside yeah so there's the band members Bruno <laughs> Koshni Woolly and Nasi yeah Crystal Knight <laughs> uh and I believe I have the back cover too. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of tough looking guys. I thought I was tough looking. Sea wind. <laughs> wind window of a child. And somebody that, that sent this to me. I think they either told me or I read up on that the the artist was mad at the band and the ba band was mad at the artist. And so the artist just gave them this and, you know, it was like a getting back at them or something. So neither one of them was happy with the album cover. Yeah, Jefferson Starship, nu Nuclear Furniture. Kind of a silly cover. <laughs> the Great Burden Cummings. I think he's been in one of the other videos. Lead singer for the Guess Who. Sweet, sweet. I had this on vinyl. You know, at the you know, when back when I bought it, you kind of don't really take any anything from the album cover, but looking back on it now, it is kind of Silly. And then I've the back cover too. Good old Burden Cummings. <laughs> this is, what was the name of this? Oh, Rare Earth. Yeah, Rare Earth. And I forget the name of the album, but yeah. Great band though, by the way. This one, I wasn't sure if I, I've had in one of my other videos, but it's, it's worth posting again because it's Metal Church Hanging in the Balance. <laughs> the Singing Swinging Banjo. Juicy, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I kept looking at other Juicy Lucy album covers, and I think I found two or three more that aren't that great. Lie Back and Enjoy It by Juicy Lucy. Ray Manzarek from The Doors, the great keyboardist. The Golden Scarab. I've never heard this album. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Just a... Kind of a bizarre album cover, at least to me. <laughs> Mrs. Mills, Party Pieces. Yeah, uh, Mad Dog, John Entwistle's Ox, the band he had. 
great guitar, great bassist for The Who. I had this album at one time in the 70s. It's okay. It's got kind of some 50s rock on it. And it was okay, but the album cover is kind of not that great. He's had some great album covers, though. Not that one. Let me adjust my uh, my eyesight. I can't birth. Is this? I think this is birth control. Yeah, it is birth. <laughs> Got to look at the cam, the 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 picture. Looks like this praying mantis kind of crab thing is giving birth. So it's yeah, it's uh, birth control. I guess that that didn't work out. Uh, operation. I guess you could call that a disturbing album cover. The Wayhob Family <laughs> Country Style Revival. <laughs> I just like their love their expressions. Like the two of them are just not looking too happy. And then the other, the one guy looks kind of psycho. <laughs> Juicy Lucy, once more, do that and you'll lose it. Chick Willis with blues. Stoop down, baby. Let your daddy see. <laughs> Mrs. Miller's greatest hits. I don't know if you've heard of her or not, but she was actually, she sold records in the 60s. She was on the Ed Sullivan show and she sings really, really badly. She basically murders the Beatles a hard day's night and these boots are made for walking downtown. But after you get used to her, her voice and how bad it is, you start to kind of be entertained by her too. So, God bless Mrs. Miller and her greatest hits. The Believers, We Believe. Although one of them, see, once again, I might have posted this one before because I have seen this before. But it gets complicated doing so many of these videos. Especially when I was only intending to, 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 to do one video. But these are fun to do. Yeah, Cain, a pound of flesh. Somebody or suggested it. Thank you. <laughs> In the back cover, Cain. Pretty cool looking guys. Black Widow Sacrifice. I don't know. What do you say about that open cover? Maybe a bit disturbing. Yeah, well, Wishbone Ash, great band, Pilgrimage. Just, you know, kind of not not that great of an album cover. Pretty pretty boring. As funny as some of these album covers are. What I really think about when I look at them is whose idea was it? And and you think of the artist actually approving the album cover. You know, instead of like a band shot or something interesting. It's no, it's a bald guy with a sock or something in his mouth. Climax Blues Band, another great band, but not a very good album cover. <laughs> I, I might use that for the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, Humble Pie, Thunderbox. Uh, I bought that on vinyl. It's a cutout. So when you open it up, you can see the young lady on the uh, <clears throat> throne. Not a very good album, though, either. The Sharks, Jab It In Your, your Eye. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, bad company, desolation angels, just, you know. Really, really, I don't think bad company had any very good album covers now, now that I think of it. Led Zeppelin, Coda, everybody, well, all Led Zeppelin fans remember when this came out. And it's just, you know, they could have made a, a pretty cool album cover. But they just do this boring cover. Not very good. Star Castle, prog band from the early 70s, real to real. <laughs> Do you want to dance? Featuring the Deltones. Something danceable songs. Benny's got humor. I, I hope they do wearing those outfits. <laughs> uh, yeah, Neil Young. I'm always saying yeah. I apologize. Yeah, Neil Young living with war. Pretty plain, simple, and boring. Now, the reason I'm including this, this is Sparks, one of my all-time favorite bands. I just saw them with my girlfriend Molly in Toronto. It's past April, and they were awesome. And this is, for me, one of their many great album covers, but I found this in a worst album covers list. And I just don't understand it. But, you know, like, I, you know, you might disagree with me on some of these album covers and you might like them. We're all different. We're all different human beings. But I think that's great album cover. Lame Candy. I guess that's the name of the band. Mummy, Daddy, Money. Can, can you imagine the uh, the guy on the ground saying, Hey, Mom, hey, we got our first album here. <laughs> We're near the nearing the end. Thank, thank God. Steve Warren, Reflection. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The clown, he was a singer. So I don't know what happened to him. Some of these I should look up on YouTube, see if there's, because sometimes there is. Paul McCartney, give my regards to Broad Street. Just a very tacky, dare I say, lame album cover. Movie isn't much better, and neither is the album, at least to me. And I'm a huge Paul McCartney fan. Along with Pipes of Peace, it's probably my least favorite Paul McCartney album. One more. Boom, Dylan, that's right, Shot of Love. I might have shown this one before, too. Uh, it is now I'm colorblind with red and green, but that's still very, very colorful and it's hurting my eyes. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'd yeah, and also let me know of some other album covers to for me to check out and I will do another one in a few weeks because these are fun to do. I might actually next time do maybe my top 50 or 100 album covers. Change it up a bit. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and like the video. I'd really appreciate it.